Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to this new edition of Mind Podcast. This is Adit Kapadia coming to you on yet another week, a very newsy week that. And together with me is my friend, fellow podcaster, analyst, and uh, very, uh, I would say on, on this topic as well, someone who is even more enthusiastic than me who has been in the last week on this. But, you know, someone whose views I always look forward to hearing on every day, Kushal Mehra. Hi, Kushal. Welcome to Mind Podcast. Hello, hello everyone. Look at my World Cup Pali t-shirt. Yes, absolutely. World Cup t-shirt. Team India. Go Team, team India. India. Go Canada, team India. no. To... <laughs> you already set the agenda before I even started. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, any Trudeau fans, uh, be prepared to be uh, severely <clears throat> disturbed for the next 30-35 minutes or whatever we uh, decide is the appropriate time to bash for what he, bash him for what you know the statements he's made. But the the reason why we're doing this podcast, apart from everything, and we've you know just recorded a cricket podcast, so our Josh will be high here. So <laughs> bear not mess with us. The interesting. India, Canada, geopolitical um, discussions that have happened. And one of the reasons why Kushal is in a very interesting place where he spends um, significant time in North America from which, you know, a lot of time is spent in Canada. He's, you know, talked to a lot of Canadian citizens, uh, even some lawmakers. And then he has, you know, uh, had an insight on what the situation is in Canada, but also is a Punjabi. So there is that connection also between, you know, uh, a, a lot of times I feel, believe that when you talk in Punjabi, in Canada, people are tend, going to reveal a lot more than they probably will do if you talk to in English, right? Because always there is that nativity uh, 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 bias and so forth. Because same thing happens to me. I talk to Gujarati, the same people will sound a very different tune when, you know, they are comfortable uh, in this. Uh, the Guja So, uh, first of all, for the people who have been under a rock, let's see what happened. Two days ago, Justin Trudeau, on the house, uh, in the house, in Ottawa, uh, uh, you know, along with Jagmeet Singh and Pierre Polivier, uh, they're in attendance because they are the second and the third uh, parties. Trudeau said basically that there was allegations, significant allegations about potential Indian hand in the killing of Hardeep Singh Nidja. Now, there are so many interesting dynamics here. He did not say what the proof was. He just said there are significant allegations about a potential. So he essentially accused another country without saying so, keeping that 1% or 5% plausible deniability thing. Um, and essentially it said that India may have assassinated Hardeep Singh Nature. Now there is no proof of that. Since then, he's not uh, produced any proof. The two party leaders, uh, obviously, the opposition said, we, you know, we are with Canada, uh, we're, we're with the prime minister. But then, since then, Pierre Polivier has said, where is the proof? I don't see. And what is interesting is in his conference, he said that uh, Mr. Trudeau, in spite of overwhelming evidence, didn't say anything about China. But now he has no evidence and he suddenly accuses India from the parliament. So that on that coupled with a very disastrous G20 visit that was there from Mr. Trudeau uh, puts him in a very strange situation. So how do you view this, Kushal? Um, as someone who is in Canada, uh, what is the reaction there when you have talked to the people? And as someone who is very interested in the Indo-Canadian affairs, what is your personal reaction to it? Yeah. So, you know, I'm in a unique position because I'm not... I mean, I'm ethnically Punjabi, but I'm not a Punjabi Punjabi. Like, you know, I'm not your typical quintessential Punjabi. I'm born and raised in Mumbai. So actually, I was born and raised in a dominant Gujarati area, in a dominant hmm. Marathi state of Punjabi. Which origin. is Mumbai, which is exactly is Mumbai. Mumbai. I'm, I'm, I, today, I live in a different area of Mumbai, which has a very strong Sindhi Punjabi, South Indian culture also. Hmm. Like, uh, that, that's, that's how multicultural Mumbai is. So when I used when I come outside India, right, I have this advantage. Like I can roll into Gujarati with you, roll mm -hmm. into Punjabi with someone, roll into Marathi with someone else. So I'll give you a small instance. When I was in California, I was mm -hmm. at this restaurant and it's a Punjabi dominated area where I was in California. So mm -hmm. this person, I understood this person was Marathi who was mm -hmm. owner of a restaurant. I started speaking with him in Marathi. Mm -hmm. He got so happy. He was like, you have no idea. I have not spoken Marathi with someone outside my brother who co-owns the restaurant with me for years <laughs> now. He came outside to drop me. <laughs> so, uh, so and, and, and look, because of uh, the reason of my, you know, podcasting and 
have been involved in some sort of social political activism or commentary for a while now i mean people don't mm. realize i i was i have never stopped disclosing this i'm no longer part of the friends of bjp but in 2010 i was officially part of friends of bjp i left in 2011 then i was part of india against corruption i left india against corruption also i've been mm. on and off doing some sort of political uh, activism or social work uh, as have most people who were involved with india against corruption in the first few years and yes yes so, I, so <laughs> for me <laughs> for me the idea of this uh, you know interacting with people is is just a normal thing i i mean mm. i ran a program along with a member of parliament called hunger free mumbai in the slums of mumbai then i got the honor of working on the sansad adarsh gram yojana on two three villages i've had uh, voter registration drives where we have registered more than 10000 new voters in mumbai in a mm-hmm. campaign called vote india vote and you know mm-hmm. we've done many things in in my past i have a huge work profile mm-hmm. and then now mm-hmm. because of the podcast i get invited to talks all over the place like just in this trip i've been to you know san francisco new jersey ottawa uh, toronto i've been to many other cities talking to people meeting people and because of the pop- podcast and the popularity of the podcast i just get to meet so many people so i hear their perspectives and issues all the time mm-hmm. so as of now i mean i don't know what the canadian prime minister was thinking this is my mm-hmm. assessment uh, do i have evidence of it nobody has evidence of these things right? these are assessments you make i think mm-hmm. what has happened is the canadian prime minister now from uh, how am i basing this on there are a few articles and commentaries that are written in the mainstream media mm-hmm. one being the washington post article written by uh, i think uh, karishma mehrotra or someone along with someone where they clearly state that even before justin trudeau came to the g20 summit in india they were trying mm-hmm. to approach multiple nations it's very interesting how washington post has changed the headline of the article under pressure now very interesting huh they have changed the headline mm. of the article they couldn't change the content of the article but mm. they tried to approach all their you know five eye allies and many others in in raising this issue and mm. nobody paid heed to them they were just not interested mm. before the g20 then trudeau comes to india and he literally gets outside of what is basic standard protocol of diplomacy trudeau uh, got, got the royal snub <coughs> he basically did get the royal snub let's be clear to add insult to injury uska plane kharab ho gaya hmm then he was there for an extra 24 hours or 36 hours in india then hmm. he comes back and right now the real issue is canada is going through a rough time inflation hmm. has hit the roof just you, if if you are interested in canadian politics right just go and search hashtags related to canadian politics one is i think c n d n p l i or something canadian poly or something go mm-hmm. and see what canadians are talking about trudeau is really unpopular in canada right now i don't say that polls say that polls after polls are showing how trudeau is probably one of the most unpopular prime ministers in the world right now hmm. he needed something and then on top of that what happened was the this me- leading opposition that is pierre polivier or poliv whatever how you i don't know how his name is pronounced i apologize i'm not french or i'm not canadian so uh he he's really you know he shared that toronto star headline on twitter and he said modi was sure telling trudeau this way out i mean and it was happening and he needed something to divert attention mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you know because he had no answers for the inflation he had no mm-hmm. answers for the real estate rates uh, adit in the last 8 years in canada rental rates have doubled mm. i'm not even making this stuff up they've literally doubled in the last 8 years of if uh, in canada so people are reeling under the pressure mm-hmm. uh, another fact that most people don't know the slowest uh, approval speed when it comes to real estate approvals right jo Correct. aapko real estate approvals dene hote hain projects ko pass karne ko guess which mm-hmm. country has the second slowest approval speed in all oecd nations yeah canada unbelievable I did not know that. Canada has the second slowest speed. मतलब वहाँ पे आपके real estate projects on average because of Canadian bureaucratic nightmare, 
mm-hmm. are delayed by four to five years, which leads to an artificial shortage of real estate, which leads to a cascading effect that real estate is increased so much. On top of that, Canada has started getting more and more international students. Forty percent plus, I think, uh, from what I remember, are from India. Mm. All these kids come in. They need housing. It has created a bubble. where rental rates are off the charts like 8 years ago jo ghar tujhe 1200 canadian mein mil raha tha aaj wo tujhe 2500 mein bhi nahi mil raha hai yaar food items are expensive trudeau ke paas kisi cheez ka jawab nahi hota hai fir truckers protest hua usne covid mein itne draconian laws laaye truckers protest ko usne draconian tarike se jail mein dal diya they have targeted them you should see some canadian reportage on this like follow some good quality canadian journalists who have criticized trudeau and his government hmm. and things are going really all right and then this guy is like ab kya karu so isne not just that ha no matlab this is this is this is what 70s wala joke ki for there is a foreign hand doing this and on what like why how would you choose what insane moron chooses a khalistani with a very terrible credible links with problematic people who india talks about having links to khalistani terrorists chooses that over the relations with a sovereign country like india fast rising national post had a editorial essentially which says that trudeau kept has kept all the evidence to himself and he talks about how you know uh, what pierre said national post is saying the same thing that why has he not talked about the chinese hand the same way where there is actual proof of what china china's interference was in canada but what is interesting is a canadian and, and, member of parliament wo involved tha yeah. <clears throat> and and i'm going to read the last three paragraphs because these are very interesting on the la- india file trudeau's biggest issue is once again his lack of transparency polivia was absolutely right when on tuesday he called on the prime minister to come clean with all the facts noting that we need to know all the evidence before call uh, you know so canadians can make judgments then he says we know that intelligence agencies in this part, government in particular likes to keep information secret especially when it relates to national security but considering trudeau's very public accusation and the diplomatic incident it sparked the facts of the cases are clearly in public interest if it turns out that trudeau dropped this metaphorical bomb without having all his ducks in order it will be a huge scandal with massive domestic and geopolitical ramifications it's imperative that canadians get to see his full head now national post may or may not have their ideological compulsions but i wholeheartedly agree with the last three paragraphs of what they've said if trudeau wants to be a responsible politician he better show the evidence and if he has none what the hell was he doing muddying all the waters look it's quite clear that uh, the canadian government has a history of being uh, literally in bed with the khalistanis true trudeau yeah. senior justin trudeau's father has also been in bed with khalistanis and uh, the evidence and, is out there in the open and now he's in alliance with that jagmeet singh who refuses yes. to condemn who's the who's open khalistan uh, he refuses to even condemn the air india bombers op- publicly like matlab kya what is the what is the what is this nonsensical thing and i'm like that is the thing and um one thing is very interesting dekho the khalistani opinion on social media is always more than actually it is in real life in terms of you know getting retweets and blaming everything as an india conspiracy and stuff and this almost seems like a personal sort of attempt to get a personal slab after the g20 humiliation the trudeau tried to do don't i don't think it expected this to blow back the way it did on him because it has united every single political party in india like i mean there's no who is going to say who and, and first of all did he did he not expect the reaction to this if he is proven right and if india had a hand and you know india is obviously going to deny it that makes mr modi look 10 times stronger than already how strong his perception is you know ghar mein guske mara and all that if it doesn't prove india's hand they were like are india to sahi tha yet that still remains that plausible deniability you know uh, uh, of uh, i can't tell you or something like that uh, with the raw so either way there is only one country that ends up looking bad in this canada and i feel bad because canadians are lovely people and they deserve better and i just hope they are not caught in this geopolitical crossfire that is going to happen between india and canada look yeah it's very important to make people understand because indian social media uh, is also a shit show 
यू नो इंडियंस एंड देयर नेस्टी कमेंट्स अबाउट कैनेडियंस भाई तुम लोग को कुछ पता नहीं है जिस देश के बारे में इतना बोलना नहीं चाहिए मैं इसके लिए हिंदी में कह के सब्जी कंट्री आई मतलब मुझे बहुत पसंद है कनाडा और और मतलब देखना है कि आम कैनेडियन और आम अमेरिकन में फर्क मैं हर टाइम ये कहता हूँ सिर्फ विंजर से डिट्रॉइट गाड़ी चला के जाओ और वापस डिट्रॉइट से विंजर गाड़ी चला के आओ ऐसा रिलीफ मिलता है जब विंजर वापस आता है इंसान को हाँ, ऐसे, दो में नहीं है। नहीं, नहीं, ऐसे दो एक्सट्रीम एग्जाम्पल्स भी मत दो अमेरिकन भी अच्छे यार यहाँ पे जो भाई मैं मैं आई हैव नथिंग पर्सनल अगेंस्ट अमेरिकन बट कोई कंपैरिजन नहीं है मैं तेरे को ये मैं बहुत और मैं इस समय जब मैं रिकॉर्ड कर रहा हूं तेरे साथ पॉडकास्ट मैं खुद अमेरिका में हूं मेरी फैमिली अमेरिका में है मेरी इमीडिएट फैमिली अमेरिका में है सो मैं को कोई अमेरिका से आई हैव नथिंग अगेंस्ट अमेरिका बट 100 आउट ऑफ 100 टाइम्स इफ आई एम गिवन अ चॉइस आउटसाइड ऑफ इंडिया व्हिच कंट्री आई वांट टू स्टे इन वेदर अमेरिका कनाडा न्यूजीलैंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया United Kingdom or any Western European nation or Singapore, I will pick hmm. Canada 100 out of 100 times. It is that good a country. It is an amazing country. I the people are the least racism I have smelled and seen in my life. And I live in a damn conservative heartland. वहाँ पे वहाँ पे है ना F Trudeau के अतिरिक्त और कोई sign नहीं आदित. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> और कोई साइन नहीं है और मैं उधर बोल रहा हूं वहां पे मैंने कोई रेसिज्म नहीं झेला सो आई वांट टू मेक श्योर थ्रू दिस पॉडकास्ट दैट दिस डज नॉट बिकम अ हेट कनाडा इनिशिएटिव वी लव कनाडा वी डोंट लाइक कैनेडियन स्टेट बिहेवियरल पैटर्न्स देयर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन हाउ द कैनेडियन स्टेट बिहेव्स एंड हाउ द एवरेज कैनेडियन द एवरेज कैनेडियन डज नॉट इवन अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज हैपनिंग लेट मी टेल यू जस्ट इन द लास्ट 3 डेज बिकॉज़ ऑफ ट्रूडो एंड हिज गैफ्स Finally, the average Canadian is like, "Yeah, hey, kya Khalistan? Yes. Let us try to understand this." And I have been inundated by messages from regular Canadians who are, yeah. irrespective of their skin color, they're like, "Yar, batao, ye hai kya?" <laughs> and now they are. And dusra sabse badi problem, Adit. This man has ruined his own place, and nobody wants to talk about it. Khalistan to ek symptom hai. Hmm. Okay, uska disease. कहां तक फैल गया इन कनाडा दैट द बिगेस्ट क्राइम रिडन प्लेस इन कनाडा इज नाउ सरी ब्रिटिश कोलंबिया हु व्हिच कम्युनिटी इज द मैक्सिमम नंबर इन सरी ब्रिटिश कोलंबिया आई डोंट नीड टू से इट एवरीबॉडी नोज इट वन ऑफ द टॉप इन द टॉप 10 क्राइम रिडन प्लेसेस इन इन कनाडा थ्री ऑफ द टू टू थ्री आर प्लेसेस दैट आर डोमिनेटेड बाय वन कम्युनिटी एंड दैट कम्युनिटी इज फ्रॉम इंडिया Hmm. you call, you you name drug peddling one community you name car theft one community brampton has the highest insurance rates of car hmm. insurance in all canada because of car insurance these are all symptoms because the canadian government has let this absolute shit show simmer underneath and it's not just one type of thug you see hmm. bangladeshi assassins getting a uh, place in canada they have literally sold their soul off to anybody and everybody who's willing to bid i i don't know what the canadian political class thinks the average canadian is so docile they don't even know what's happening and now suddenly adit just the peel region a uh, peel is a district hmm. in the peel region from 2022 to 2023 there is a 46% increase in car theft wow Just in It's one district. It's unbelievable. Un- And or or in districts, के बाद कुछ क्राइम नहीं है. आदित, it is so weird कि तुम है ना अपनी गाड़ी एक इसके बाहर जाओगे ना तुम अपनी गाड़ी unlock छोड़ दो. चाबी गाड़ी के अंदर छोड़ दो. छः महीने कुछ नहीं होगा तुम्हारी गाड़ी को. and and the problem is ki jo canada mein long term issue hai when it comes to uh, you know dealing with this men is dealing with the khalistani problem right is the, you think there is a bit of a, there was a bit of an ignorance jo abhi finally is gorai thanks to trudeau it's willful ignorance they knew everything i mean terry milevsky's book is a case in point it's a brilliant book and yeah and, and your podcast too yeah and, and and they we show in that Boss, mm-hmm. this you know what they have done to their country. How many people know how the Canadian primaries happened? 
रिपब्लिकन Why should you be able to vote in the Democrat primary? Yes, you should only be able to vote in Republic. Yeah. That is how sane democracies operate. Yeah, and guess how it happens in Canada? You don't even Please. need to be a Canadian to vote in a primary election in Canada. So imagine Adit and I decide to take a trip to Niagara Falls, right? And at that time, Niagara Falls ke udhar kuch na kuch ho raha aur ek primary ho raha hai. Adit and I can literally go there and vote in the primary for the candidate we want to see. and this is the canadian boss the chinese have completely hacked the system the muslim community then learned from the chinese and started hacking the system but the best use of the canadian primary was done by the khalistani so they strategically what did they do they put khalistanis in all parties because they would hack the primary so jo banda jata hai na upar wo khalistani hota hai अच्छा एक जो और जो आवाज उठाते थे आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी नो ऑफ अ ग्रेट इंडो कैनेडियन पंजाबी कॉल्ड उज्जल दोसांज ही वाज अ फॉर्मर मिनिस्टर बाय द वे ही इज अ कैनेडियन यस उज्जल दोसांज ही वाज ब्रूटली अटैक्ड फॉर ओपोजिंग खालिस्तान व्हेन ही वाज अ लीडर ही वाज ब्रूटली अटैक्ड टिल द हेड कंप्लीटली बैटर्ड एंड ब्रूज आई थिंक 30 से ज्यादा स्टिचेस लगे Wow. Yeah, Canada. He got so frustrated today. He is out of the Liberal Party politics. He is just an author. He is a great Canadian. You know, people should follow the life of Ujjal Dosanj. People should follow the life of a great Canadian journalist, Balraj Deol. He was hmm. brutally attacked by the Khalistanis. Canada has been a breeding ground of these activities from the 1980s. they wow. they have done nothing to control it and then because he's having such a huge problem locally he decided to use the foreign hand card and let me say this when the case of china there was an active evidence of a canadian mp of chinese origin in bed with the chinese communist party it was literally proven but they didn't do anything about it no, not just that apparently <clears throat> pierre trudeau was given in 1982 the indian government said ki you know you come in uh, hand over this you know conspiracy after the air india thing he didn't and look what happened and it just gotten worse and worse and apparently the apple doesn't fall to fall too far from the tree so yes. pierre trudeau the india skepticism of the trudeau family starts with there and then it's only gotten worse and stephen harper had dutch done much to uh, improve the relations with india on this especially but the problem is this alliance with jagmeet now you know the first of all I want to tell people of India, we cannot just mesh all the Punjabis into one vote because there is Punjabi Hindus, there is the you know the Punjabi Sikhs who are virulently opposed to Khalistan. Then there are Khalistani supporters uh, uh, in Canada. There are also Gujaratis in Canada. So it's the Indian Ameri Indian Canadian com I should say Indian America the Indo Canadian community is not a monolith and it's in a significant number. It's like what one or two million people I think if I'm not mistaken. So it yeah. may be even more. So. Yes, in the Vancouver I think side, around one point four million or one point five million, as per the government Correct. of India stat. Yes, exactly. So it's it's a significant. It's about four four percent of Canada's population or something. So it's a, it's a pretty pretty significant block, uh, as opposed to like in and it could be even higher. You you never know. Uh, you know this what this number is. But the fact of the matter is. Mr Trudeau is trying to see if he can get the most of you know the community to earlier it felt like he was trying to get the most of the community vote now he's trying to create a division within the community where he gets most of the you know khalistani vote or so so to speak which was probably going in some ways to jagmeet se right because ndp is also uh, uh, fielding some folks so where do you think that dynamic plays is trudeau trying that desperately to hold on to some support base I think that exactly is the reason because Trudeau feels that he needs the vote of the Sikh community, and he thinks all Sikhs are Khalistani. That's what Trudeau's assumption is, and that's what he's doing. And he does not want NDP to out Khalistanify him mm -hmm. in the crazy, uh, crazy political landscape that Canada has developed, and that's what they're saying. 
and this yeah. was his plank that like see you know he the word that keeps being used is nijjar the activist nijjar the yeah. sikh leader nijjar the activist adit i think what you should do right now is read and tell people who nijjar is yeah. maybe yes that's what is very important that the person that all these people are trying to show as some sort of a hero what kind of a person he is there are yeah. videos of him training people with ak47s by the way it is banned in canada what was he doing with that correct india today and, had a report of his videos and apparently and this is again uh, you know he had unsuccessfully attempted to move to canada and applied as a refu uh, refugee for, and later trying to try to marry a woman who sponsored the application now uh, the thing in india was india designated in 2020 a terrorist under the unlawful uh, activities prevention act and you know seized the his assets in the company there was a murder uh, there was a, a murder of a hindu priest in punjab where you know he was uh, uh, he, he was accused of plotting that uh, amrinder singh uh, said that he gave a list of most wanted people in punjab that included uh, uh, nijjar's name in 2018 and very famous Firstly, Amrinder Singh um, um, refused to meet uh, Harjit Sajjan, who was the uh, uh, Chief Defence Minister of Canada at that, at that time because of his links. And Amrinder Singh is a Sikh, so that's that's my thing. I was like, how can you say that they speak for all Sikhs? Because the Sikh Chief Minister of the the uh, you know the most the Sikh most dominated where Sikhs are in the majority that state in India is refusing to meet. Um, that should tell you something in canada but you know trudeau is basically being ignorant and um, you know then after this basically there are some serious allegation now associated press has had an article krutika patil and david cohen uh, associated said the sikh activist who's killing or something and they said a sikh independence advocate my god a sikh so that is the difference you know india may there are credible links of you know links that they have said where he is accused of murder there are terrorism links and these guys are talking about uh, activists and independence advocate khalistan is not just an independence advocacy movement khalistan is a violent movement that seeks to harm the indian state and the indian citizens and khalistan is a violent movement that has resulted in the biggest terrorist attack in the history of canada as a nation that killed the maximum number of canadians even the quebec freedom movement could not lead to a single incident that led to so many lives of canadians lost yeah then the khalistan movement has khalistan movement is the single largest movement that is resulting in the highest amount of crimes today inside canada whether it's drug peddling whether it's gang wars whether it's human trafficking whether it's mm -hmm. uh, you know heckling people whether it's misogyny whether it's amount of casteism in the khalistani funded music industry you name the problem khalistan can be linked to it yes absolutely and here is the thing the associated press has the whole uh, uh, report about war against separatism and thing without a mention of jarnail singh bindramwale they talk about uh, 70s 80s and stuff like that and how there you know indira gandhi they talk about that and uh, the insurgencies and uh, uh, and they talk about the delhi riot but how can you not talk about vindan wale and then how can you talk about th they are like hindu nationalist led government of narendra modi has uh, cracked down on both non hindu rights movements and dissidents what nonsense see this is the this is why i always say that uh, the indian government needs a press advisor now i don't i i am not a fan of you know going and talking to all these but the western media has such rubbish where ap has associated press has this uh, insane sort of uh, stories which is probably reproduced on 15 american platforms why not have a media advisor coming and bashing this story and blow, blowing it to pieces because this is basically it's not even um, it's it's not even credible matlab bakwas hi likha hai yahan pe so that is unfortunate the reality point is as far as the the coverage of this issue look we cannot control the editorial standards of multiple media houses mm -hmm. unfortunately the i mean i actually literally in one of my monologues recently i had shared a study that showed the content analysis of bbc al jazeera and cnn and basically their india coverage is all negative it was a study yeah. a proper study done so 
I don't know how how to break this to my fellow Indians, but boss, you're not getting any positive coverage from any of these people. The only solution when it comes to this menace is the way I think, you know, I have to comment the way the Indian government has handled this entire issue. Oh boy. I think the Indian government needs to start flexing its muscle now. Uh, uh, enough is enough. We cannot, you know, the, a, a man like Pannu is now making videos targeting Canadian Hindus. This is intolerable. And India now has to flex its muscle. And India has to teach Canada its place. It and Canada needs to show, be shown its place. Canada cannot think that it can actually literally fund a terrorist movement or let terrorism get funded in its own soil and think that there are no geopolitical consequences of it. India has yeah. to do what it takes to protect. No, no, itself. and and India, India released two brilliant statements. Ek to, uh, first of all, the first statement where it completely and bashed the Canadian allegations, and then they put an advisory where they said, in the view of growing anti-India activities and politically condoned hate crimes. What a line that was. Politically condoned hate crimes and criminal violence in Canada. And it's a whole advisory. I'm not going to read it out. You can read it out on the MEA's website. But basically, you know, they suspended the diplomat and the Canadian diplomat uh, had a four minute long meeting with the Ministry of External Affairs in India. That did that not went best. well. Yeah, <clears throat> because literally wo darwaza patak ke jane wali, uh, baat ho gayi uske saath. Um, but where does this take Indo, this Indo-Canadian relations? Do, because Trudeau is still going to be the Prime Minister for two years. Jagmeet is still going to be his ally and push him further to the left on this issue. Uh, uh, I don't see Trudeau try to backtrack. But, you know, this is apparently an ego battle for him right now. So how do you think the future is going to be? I think the future is very bad. I think Indo-Canadian relations are going to be finished or going to be done for good for a while until and unless there is a change of government in in canada i can uh, um you know and i can assure you mm -hmm. that indo canadian relationships are finished i, I really? and i normally don't don't make such doomsday predictions but that's they I are mean... done it's yeah, kind of yeah. sad because I hope, you know, I hope we had, we wouldn't get to that point. But he has to. I love years. Canada, man, but Indo Canadian relations are done. 2025 October is when the next election is. So we're exactly two years away. But the only way Trudeau gets out of this is if there is an apology or something like that of some sort, because India is not going to take this lying down. No, and no. He's they not going to apologize. apologize. They just need to crack down on Khalistanis, and that's about it. Yeah, exactly. So there's a big so I think this. What. What the Khalistanis and especially Jagmeet Singh have miscalculated because Jagmeet st went one step further. He actually blamed it on Mr. Narendra Modi in his tweet, saying, I will not rest till I have you know, taken Modi to task. Jaisa pata wo kya karega. Matlab, he can't even go to Ludhiana or Bilwada right now, <laughs> you know, but India ja nahi sakta. Or, Jagmeet Singh uh, cannot visit his own village. The less I say, the better. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So he's unfortunately, you know, for him, like I would love for him to come on an Indian channel and uh, face face the music and talk to an anchor and stuff and, and try and defend his position. And, and two things, if he can bash Khalistan, the, the, the funniest part has been uh, the uh, apart from everything uh, reaction has been the reaction of the Indian liberal left in America because they have been under, they had this uh, wink, wink, don't tell alliance with the Khalistanis where they would not say anything and human rights mein kuch bhi bakwas karte rahenge now all political parties in india are essentially behind the indian government stands on this so they want to be against the indian government but they also want to be so you had this funny uh, rajdeep sardesai video where kc singh was talking to a canadian um, uh, analyst where kc singh essentially talked about gurmeet ram rahim talked about khalistan farmer protest and then in the last 10 seconds talked about justin trudeau Right, he was talking about Modi and this. He, he usko laga ke main Twitter pe bol raho, apne audience ko. Then this guy comes and bashes the intersectionality of the left and what is happening. And Casey and Rajdeep both look like someone had virtually slapped him on air. Right. So unfortunately, yeah. that is the confusion. Right. Uh, and and I'm trying to do. Hopefully, I'll uh, there'll be another uh, podcast with Daniel. I'll probably do in a week or two weeks on this uh, because I want to do like another follow up podcast. Keep the government is not going to change. But Indo-Canadian people-to-people relations cannot, you know, 
go bad and yeah. so when you know when i talk yeah, to canada Kishan, is not pakistan yaar matlab let's be very clear canada is not pakistan guys exactly. canada is not exactly. pakistan Ex- exactly nor are we threatened to playing uh, you know cri- playing cricket matches with them so matlab yeah. shan- calm down so please don't yes. advocate for that also uh, 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 so i mean i don't understand uh, uh, what is the thing but i th- i one thing is for sure before we go into the last 10 minutes of this podcast um what do you make of the nato ally the g7 basically is just slapping trudeau not even china yeah, yeah. has come so to I support wanna, of trudeau i want to i want to read something very important from shrimoy talukdar's first post opinion piece where shrimoy writes oh. uh by the way shout out to shrimoy he's a fantastic journalist uh mm-hmm. at first post so if you guys can please follow shrimoy too you know he say it may not be a coincidence that faced with india's complete rejection trudeau was cornered by the opposition to release concrete evidence the issue gets even more curious when we note while investigating the murder of nijer in june a uh, canadian police court did not consider india to be involved in the act yes mm. according to reports published by indian media in indian media in august so how did things change so dramatically it has now emerged that during the g20 meet in new delhi and this is the fun bit india's national security adviser ajit doval had court engaged his australian uk and canadian counterparts over the rise of sikh fundamentalism and violence against indian assets in their respective countries and while other nations were responsive the court canadian nsa was unfazed as the new democratic party of khalistan supporter jagmeet singh supports the minority trudeau government this is the reality this is the reality. reality yeah so and and Which as is why as i trudeau think is... the best answer was in uh, shrimoy's uh, piece itself <laughs> absolutely absolutely so uh, uh, my 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 joke is that uh, when it comes to getting prime minister modi reelected i think uh, justin trudeau and his closest ally udayanidhi stalin are going to do a great job at doing that by making one statement at the other i mean <laughs> i was joking uh, i was joking with a friend that bjp has to find a way to clone rahul gandhi they have cloned him three times apparently without <laughs> doing anything but you know joke in all seriousness what he's done is he's pushed the canadian political parties into a corner and every single one of them has backtracked except for jagmeet singh and if i'm justin trudeau i don't want to be in the same zip code as Jag- jagmeet singh on this issue and if i am this is that is just showing you how desperate it is i honestly think he's going to lose the leadership of the liberal party if he keeps keeps doing this don't be surprised there are by the way wink wink nudge nudge rumors that i hear in canadian liberal circles uh justin trudeau might be forced to resign really that is, on this that is that is not this he, it's been a while there have I mean, been but... serious discussions inside the liberal party uh mm. about this man having to resign they're like no but this could be the last nail in the coffin na no, this could be and even, clearly joe biden is not supporting there are rumors right now going around that joe biden might be the guest of uh, honor for india in the republic day parade nothing is a bigger slap to uh, uh, uh justin trudeau if that that is the case because he was and, hoping that the americans would support uh, so much so that a few journalists in india were also tweeting some non descript state department spokesperson uh, uh, statement saying oh we will other uh, america has come up with a very balanced statement that we'll wait for the investigation but they are not sharing proof with him they wanted the uh, they wanted the brits and the americans to come and bash india they are not going to do it you know not after the 20 in here can yeah, america tell anyone in the world not to carry out st- assassinations in people's hands no they won't they won't so i you know that Any, no, the america has done the maximum number of those in the world the the, the clip that i tweeted out that i sent you the weekend yamamoto clip from west wing which was more than 20 years old that where aaron sorkin writes about you know what happened in yamamoto and stuff and there, there is a uh, america has actually to- talked about you know self defense uh, talking about this but quite frankly and okay, this is going to sound very crazy but i think nijer was a too low level operative for raw i actually think i mean he was he was but my, my problem with trudeau is without i i honestly don't think the rock would have done it but if even if hypothetically they would have done it or something without proof to accuse a nation a sovereign nation a democracy of doing this is unprecedented and from the parliament i mean how and the, the funniest thing is i think sadanand dumey tweeted saying he has left some wiggle room and i'm like sadanand you are the only one who is looking for wiggle room yeah i mean the less i say about sadanand the better i think sadanand and his political analysis are uh, 
मैं नहीं कुछ बोलना चाहता सदानंद राइट अबाउट इज दैट इज ऑलवेज रॉन्ग <laughs> no but you know you have dhume you have some quad analysts in washington dc who keep talking about quad they are all quiet because you know they can't you know offend the the canadians and stuff like that but why don't they call out for trudeau for what he did a idiotically dumb thing if it, if let's these all these indo western analysts if an indian prime minister had done something they would be shouting up and down and saying oh how can they do such an irresponsible thing this was a idiotic comment no one would say that oh they have left a leeway you don't just raise issues from the parliament of the house and expect not it, it not to be a serious thing listen what he dug his own grave <laughs> truly True. Justin Trudeau dug his own grave and destroyed Indo-Canadian relations for a long time until the leadership and the government doesn't change nothing's going to happen mark my words the hostility from the indian side will only increase mm-hmm. and to every single khalistani mark my words you are going to be dealing with the consequences of your thuggishness yeah you can do what you want to do sitting inside canada but beyond the point your criminal activities have started affecting the average canadian's life and beyond the point nobody whether in canada or in india are going to be party to this they will not accept it enough is enough and india is going to target each and every khalistan sympathizer supporter and is going to cancel their oci eventually mark my words this will happen i i unfortunately for the khalistanis and i have no sympathy for them i think this is exactly what's going to happen and uh, it's going to go from bad to worse to worst and what's happened is they have done something unwittingly that they uh, they probably shouldn't have for their sake i'm very happy as an indian uh, and someone they have awoken the canadian people to the menace that is the khalistanis and now the average canadian is saying why are we if you just have to go to social media and look at the comments and liberal or conservative they are all saying why the hell are we fighting with india why the hell are we doing it on this and the more questions the more questions they come the worse it is because quite frankly a lot of them did not know about uh, khalistan and all india has to do is ai 182 what happened in that plane crash and what did canada do that investigation was such a sham as long as they keep harping on that yes there are 1 million khalistanis but there are third, you know or there are probably 500000 or 600000 khalistan supporters in canada or something but there are 30 million plus who are not guess what that's what that's that's who is going to take on them and look enough is enough what the hell are these people on kaun sa khalistan kae ka khalistan india mein to koi chahta nahi hai khalistan ye log kidhar banane wale hai khalistan uski geopolitics yaar main ek baat bolu i mean i have come across many islamists in my life i have come across many bigoted uh, hindus in my life yaar ye khalistaniyon se bada beowkuf maine nahi dekha such delusional me na delusional aur wo, 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 wo anyone whose leader is gurpatwan singh pannu is that i mean a leader can tell a lot about the supporters if that if that cartoon character who comes and rants on social media matlab he doesn't even have the guts to go and talk to anyone in india agar usko itna hi khalistan banana hai jaake punjab mein jaake baat kare na kisi se land in amritsar and talk to people right par wahan to jaane 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 se phatti hai bhai ki so what will he say you know all these people but you know i f- i feel for like like what i said there are a lot of you know indo canadians more indo canadians are opposed to this idea than uh, uh, than the ones that are supportive and of people idea. have had adit i have spoken to people personally they've literally had enough of this khalistan menace every time now khalistani is going oppose right something there are four times more indian sikhs and hindus going out and saying oh chup kar do humko nahi karna tumhare sath and, and first of all let's let's before we end up let's get this straight these buggers actually put pictures of indian diplomats and put a hit on their back yes like i don't understand how that is normal and who does that right and uh, that solution to that is not that oh we are going and harassing canadian diplomats i think suspending a canadian diplomat was the right thing to do and our diplomat was suspended but no we should actually double down you know say that canadians the re- canadian diplomats is look how secure you feel in delhi and chandigarh and punjab this is how we want our diplomats to uh, feel secure in vancouver 
in toronto in brampton you know so uh, yeah, that yeah it says a lot about canada ca- 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 the canadian government it says a lot about them it says a lot yeah. because dekh aur ye tune bahut sahi baat boli humne unki security unke consulate ke bahar badha di is episode ke baad ha and aur wo kuch nahi karte kuch nahi karte and that's the answer hum log ne police presence outside the canadian consulate badha di absolutely because we understand what is at stake here and you just don't jeopardize but that man child who's the leading the country he you know he's acting like a four year old but you know holding grudges rather than acting uh, uh, maturely but unfortunately i hope things change and i hope uh, you know kushal and i are both proven wrong and things go for the better in the next few weeks because you know we are sitting in hope as two well wishers of indo canadian really indo canadian relations so i think ne- indo canadian ne- relations are going to be bitter for a long uh, time ye mera ye mera hopefulness bol raha hai na ki if, if i'm ending the podcast on a hopeful <laughs> note meko to koi hope nahi hai bhai main do din hue the mere ko teen din hue hai america aake aur sala ye pura pahad gir gaya उधर अभी तेरे को वापस जाना है उधर मेरी वाइफ बोल रही थी मेरे को साला तेरे को आने ही नहीं देंगे वापस उधर ही लाइक बैग बैग शिप करवा दो इधर से ही भाग चलते हैं वापस इंडिया but um, but before i let you go kushal any recommendations you have for our uh, viewers or listeners in uh, what you've read or seen lately yes so i i will uh, recommend people to go and uh, watch a few podcasts and read a few books books mein uh, sandhu saab ki book uh, he's a former uh, station chief raw he was also placed in canada he did the entire khalistan operation he wrote a book on the entire story of khalistan please understand that and the evil role played by the congress party also in that the evil role played by the congress party in creating pindra wale that should be read terry milevsky and his superlative coverage of the entire khalistan movement in canada and what these people have done and what they are getting away with a uh, few journalists in canada outside of terry milevsky uh, terry glavin is one that adit mentioned uh, kim bolan vancouver sun duck todd again vancouver sun uh, inke articles padho you will you will really learn a lot try to follow the work of balraj deol you can watch my podcast with balraj deol if you want you can also watch my podcast with sandhu saab if you want you can watch other podcasts that i have done uh for australian uh, khalistani movements also uh, uh, she is uh, malini i mean uh, she's called sara gates on uh, on mm-hmm. twitter but i know uh, her name is malini so follow malini on uh, on 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 this uh, line in australia यूके uh, में खालिस्तान सिर्फ भोंकी ज्यादा करते हैं उनकी कोई इतनी चलती नहीं है अभी बट इफ यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस रीड अबाउट द स्टोरी ऑफ उज्जल दोसांच आई आई गेट उज्जल साहब ऑन द पॉडकास्ट इन द मंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर आई एल ट्राई टू गेट हिम इफ ही एग्रीज उज्जल जी से मैं बात करके उनको लाने की भी कोशिश करूंगा पॉडकास्ट पे एंड 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 आई वंस अगेन वॉन्ट टू टेल पीपल प्लीज इंडियंस कैनेडा इज अ ब्यूटिफुल कंट्री don't don't hate the country don't hate the people for one muppet or two muppets don't do it it's a beautiful and country it's interesting that you mentioned ujjal dosanjh he was the member of parliament from the same seat that harjit sajjan is now from yes. west bengal south and harjit sajjan is a minister that amrinder yes. singh refused to meet i know and, i know and the, I no know. no no and i know i'm just telling for our viewers but, but, bola nahi why did amrinder singh not meet harjit sajjan Yeah, because of his links to organizations. Yeah, but Amrinder Singh, who's his friend? Who's his friend? Yes. Ujjal Dosanjh. Ujjal Dosanjh. Absolutely, absolutely. So that is unfortunate reality, and that is also the way uh, 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 that British Columbia, unfortunately, has gone, especially that area, Vancouver South. Uh, you know how they've gone, and uh, the the sad the sad part, the sad reality is uh, that you know uh, things are going to get a little worse before they get better, but I hope they get better very soon. uh my recommendation uh, is going to be a book that i recommended a couple of times on the podcast but it makes for great reading because we are talking about khalistan is amritsar mrs gandhi's last battle by uh, uh mark tully and satish jacob it is basically a precursor to what happened in 84 you know what the blue star uh, thing of how um, that um, happen oh yeah tavleen that- sorry main to bhool hi gaya tavleen ke sath to meri podcast bhi hai wo bhi dekh lena <laughs> absolutely wahi to but but this satish jacobin but i'm going to leave you guys with one line that mark tully said that 
hit me and still continues to haunt me it is not that mrs gandhi did, did too little too late she always did too much too late and that is the reality of the khalistan it's pro is unfortunately going through the same thing where he's it's not he's not even doing too little too late he's doing too much too late on the other direction so what the compensation happens for this and how it takes to fix the canadian relation i think that is also going to be a swing in the other direction who takes that swing how hard is that swing we'll be here to cover it maybe we'll do a part 2 of this podcast with kushal but please follow him on social media uh, he does an excellent charvak podcast uh, uh, like his youtube channel we did a podcast on cricket a lot of you guys know uh, and hence hence the uniform that kushal is wearing <laughs> right after we did go it. team india and... ye one day jersey yeah see i'm i'm in the zone ye one day jersey absolutely hum log kuch bhi baat kare fir bhi dil hai hindustan ki jersey alag hai maine imandari ki ईमानदारी की बिल्कुल ईमानदारी की है एंड वील बी बैक इन कपल ऑफ वीक्स रिव्यूइंग द वर्ल्ड कप बट वील बी ऑल्सो बैक नेक्स्ट वीक ऑन माइंड मेकर्स पॉडकास्ट दिस वीक एंड एक्चुअली टॉकिंग लिटिल बिट बॉन्ड फ्रॉम द नॉर्थ अमेरिकन परस्पेक्टिव एंड you know taking this discussion forward but thank you so much kushal for joining and thank you everyone who have stayed on on audio or video we'll be back soon till then it's goodbye